Hi everyone, this is Mr. West. We're doing a tutorial video on a middle school math concept. Area and perimeter of rectangular shapes. This one's one because this is a math salamanders worksheet. Great website. I like these worksheets. Let's go ahead and get into this concept. So we're talking about area and perimeter here. Perimeter is probably the easier of the two to understand. So let's start with that one. Perimeter of this shape. This is what you call a compound shape because it's composed of two or more different shapes added together. So this is a compound shape. I'm gonna put that over here. And you'll notice that we could divide this a couple different ways. We could divide it into two rectangles like this. We could divide it into two rectangles like this. We could even divide it into three shapes if we wanted to. But again, with this, simplicity is the key. We wanna use as few of shapes as possible, okay? We're gonna talk about it in a second. For perimeter though, we don't really need to worry about that. What is perimeter? Perimeter, think about the outside length. I completely misspelled that. Outside length, outside distance, okay, of a shape. So we're talking about the outside distance. If you were to run around this shape, okay, or in this case, it looks like an ant would need to do it because it's pretty small, you would have to measure all these distances to figure out how far you traveled, okay? So what are our distances? We have seven here, so let me write seven. So we have seven, and then I'm gonna add it to, we have 10 over here that we're traveling, so we're gonna add it to the 10. Well, actually I was highlighting these numbers, 10. Then I'm gonna travel three centimeters down, plus, plus three. Now, look, it doesn't say how far I travel here, okay? So that's, that's a problem. We're gonna have to come back to this distance right here. But notice the next one, yep, I'm aware, low battery, I'll get it, plus four, okay, and then, plus five, okay, so plus five. Now, I am missing, hold on, I'm, I'm, I, there, I highlighted something I didn't want to, there we go. I'm missing that distance here that I've already talked about, so how do I figure out what this distance is? Well, the trick is, if we know that this whole distance is 10 centimeters right here, then this bottom distance needs to match up with it, okay? Now, it doesn't have this part right here of that distance. So we know that this and this, those two horizontal lengths need to add up to give me 10. So if I have five centimeters, something plus that five is gonna have to give me 10. So that is obviously five. So this distance right here is gonna be five centimeters. So I'm gonna add five. So my total perimeter is gonna be this. This will give me my perimeter. I'm gonna add all these shapes together. So, or all these lines, all these line segments. So I have seven plus 10 is 17, plus three is 20, and then five plus five is another 10, that gives me 30, and then plus four is 34 centimeters. So that's gonna be my first distance here, 34 centimeters, okay? So that is my outside length, the perimeter, 34 centimeters. Now, area, how do I find the area? Well, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. If you wanna go back and see all those things, then just go pause and rewind and then follow along. That's what's great about these videos is you can pause, rewind, slow motion. I wouldn't recommend slow motion. My voice kinda of sounds kinda of weird when you put it in slow motion, so I wouldn't recommend it, but it is an option. Now, I was talking about earlier how we can divide this compound shape into multiple shapes. We're gonna to need to do that for the area. Now, what is area? Area is talking about the measure of all the inside space, okay? We're talking about the area of a rug, the area of a house, the floor plan of a house, okay? Area, this, the inside space. So all this yellow would be area, okay? So let me highlight that and put inside space. Now, how do I calculate the area? And actually, I'm gonna use green for area so we can look, differentiate it a little bit um, from the perimeter, okay? So don't forget, I already found that this was five centimeters. So now what I can do is I can divide this into two shapes. You can see I already did that, and there's multiple ways to do that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and roll with this as one of my shapes, okay? And then let's get another color. Let's choose red, and this will be another one of my shapes. So if I find the area, the compound area, it would be the sum of both of these areas. So this is my rectangle number one, rectangle one, and then this would be, we'll call it rectangle two. Rectangle number two. 
Now, if I find the area of both of those, I can add them together to find my total area, okay? Now, how do I find the area? The area of a rectangle is gonna be your length times your width, okay? So length times width, and I kind of made that little, there we go, we're multiplying the two dimensions together. So for example, if you have a 10 set, no, that's not right. For this rectangle, it's not 10 centimeters on top, it's only five centimeters on top, so we'd have a five centimeter by three centimeter area for that rectangle. And that's why anytime you see dimensions, like a two by four, for example, for wood, two by four, it's talking about the dimensions of the wood, a two inch by four inch piece of wood, two by four. So if you wanted to find the area of that part of the wood, that end part, you would just do two times four, and that would give you eight square units, whatever the units are, in that case, inches, okay? But this one, we're talking about centimeters, we would multiply five times three, so the area of rectangle two would be five times three, that's 15 centimeters squared, okay? And I had a little two there, okay? Now, rectangle one, what are the dimensions of this guy? Well, we have seven as one of the dimensions, okay? And the other dimensions is five, and I would write it on all sides just so you're aware with it aware of it that 10 does not apply to that whole thing look how that 10 goes past that five so it's not that and the seven that is part of the side and this four is too short that's only this portion of the rectangle so that doesn't count we need that whole rectangle so the area of this is going to be seven times five that equals 35 centimeters squared so if i add these two together 35 centimeters squared plus, let's go over here, and then we're gonna add 15 centimeters squared from the other shape. That's gonna give us our compound area. So our compound area in this case is going to be five plus five is 10, carry the one, I get 50 centimeters squared. So that's how you do this, 50 centimeters squared. The toughest part of this is probably finding those missing lengths, okay, as I'm running out of juice here. Finding those missing lengths is probably the toughest part, but you're gonna have to do some addition or subtraction to find it. Let's go off to number two. Okay, this one will probably be easier now that we have a clean slate. Let's start with the perimeter. So perimeter, we're adding up all the outside edges. We have 10 plus six plus eight plus six, but notice how we have two missing units right here. So what do we do? How do we find those two missing sides? Well, let's start with this. Uh, let me highlight it in blue. Okay, in blue, we need to find this side. Well, we know that this whole bottom side needs to line up. So if we're talking about horizontal lengths, we need to keep track of where are all our horizontal lengths. So we have six millimeters here, and we have question mark millimeters here, and we have 10 millimeters down here. So this six plus that mystery needs to equal 10, obviously it equals four, so this is four millimeters here. They need to match up, they need to be the same if it's a rectangular shape, okay? Now let's use change colors here. Now let's talk about the vertical distance. We have this and this are the vertical and it needs to match up with this vertical. I'm gonna clean it up, okay? So this is six, that six plus this missing box right here, that's the missing box, needs to equal eight, the vertical distance. They need to match up. In this case, six plus two, is gonna equal eight, so that is a distance of two. So now we have our two missing measurements and we can add up all of them, okay? So we can add up two plus four plus six, okay, that's 12, plus eight is 20, okay, that's how I'm doing it, two plus four is six, two plus four is six, plus, uh, what, oh no, yes, yeah, it's six, then we had 12 plus six, and then plus eight is 20, then we have 30 and then we have 36. So our distance total for perimeter, the outside edge, 36, okay? Now let's go over to area. This one you have to pick a way to divide this into two rectangles. We can't just multiply, this would be a common mistake, do six times 10. No, you can't do that because we have a missing chunk right here. It's not a perfect rectangle. So we need to divide it up into perfect rectangles. In this case, a perfect rectangle would be right here. Okay, there's a good rectangle. And then we could put another rectangle, let's choose green. Okay, and let's put that right here. Okay, nice green rectangle. Now we need the dimensions. The red one, 
we're good on. Look, we already have both dimensions for the, the red one. We have six millimeters that goes all the way left to right. And this eight goes all the way up and down. So we have six by eight is gonna be our area. And that is 48 millimeters squared. Okay, now let's go over to the green. The green, we only have one of the dimensions. We have six, okay? So we know it's six by, and oh, actually we do have the second dimension. Here is the second dimension, left to right, that's four. So it's six by four is the area, A stands for area, and that's 24 millimeters squared is my area. So if I'm going to find my area of the compound shape, I need to add those two together. Let's use dark purple. So I do 48, I don't want more room. 48 plus 24. And I do, that gives me uh, 12. So I put the two, carry the one. And then I have uh, four, six, seven, 72. So that's 72 square millimeters. So those are the units for me. Okay, these are gonna be the same process just to help you. You're gonna calculate all the outside edges for the perimeter for this one. And then I would divide it. I mean, it's up to you. You could either divide it like this or you could divide it like this to find the two different uh, areas. And then this one, again, you're gonna calculate all the area, sorry, all the outside edges for the perimeter. And then I would divide it up like this, or you could divide it up like this and just make sure you find all your missing uh, edges. For example, this edge is missing, this edge is missing, this edge is missing, okay? As a reminder, make sure that it equals uh, the whole, whole horizontal distance. So five and four needs to equal this. Now it's nine, gave that one away. And then this one is six and three for the vertical. That needs to match up with that one. That's also nine. Gave that one away, okay? But if you need more help with this one, I'll happily make a follow-up video. But for now, one and two should be sufficient for you to get it. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.